All right, hello third grade. So we are gonna start a new project today and we're gonna talk about sunflowers. Vincent Van Gogh is one of my favorite artists and one of his famous paintings is a vase of sunflowers. Now, so I'm doing a vase of sunflowers, I thought we could use a different medium than we normally use and we're gonna use some chalk pastels. We used a little bit of chalk when we did our Christmas lights this Christmas, but I thought it'd be really cool to do a whole project using just pencils and chalk and really see how that works. Um, we might even use some glue. I'm still like, kind of playing around with this. But we have to set up our project. So I can leave the stuff in the teach or not the teacher lounge, the office for you to come pick up. I just have a six inch circle and a 10 by 14 piece of black paper. If you're using a nine by 12 piece of black paper, which is absolutely fine, you might want to go down to a smaller circle. You could use a tub, something around it. So if you're going to go down nine by 12, you might want to do like a four inch circle. So just take a ruler and find an old container in your house, like yogurt or cottage cheese, um, sour cream, whatever you might use, or uh, oatmeal lid. Measure across the middle and see how big it is. This is six inch, but I think if your paper was a couple inches shorter, you might want to go with four. So make sure you measure across the circle and you only want about four inches. But if you pick it up for me, I can leave this in the office for you, a tracer and a black piece of paper. I also can leave you a baggie of chalk pastels if you don't have your own still from when we did it at Christmas. Um, so just let me know what you need. I'll leave it in the office just in case. And if you need more, that's fine. Um, at home, you also might need some liquid glue because we might play around with that. Um, but for today, you'll need a pencil or a white colored pencil. I'm using a white colored pencil so you can see what I'm doing. You need that black piece of construction paper and you need some sort of circle tracer. It depends. 10 by 14, I'm using a six inch circle. Nine by 12, you might want to do a four inch circle. So what we want to do is kind of find the middle of our paper as best we can and we want to slide off our circle to one side. I like to do things to the right side because I'm right handed. If you want to move this over to the left, you can totally do that. What you want to do though is kind of visually center it from top to bottom as best you can and visually kind of find the middle of your circle. You could be really specific and measure across half and then that way you line it up. You don't have to. I'm just kind of eyeball it. I want to be about the center from the top and bottom and I want my circle to look like it's cut in half because we're only doing a half of one. So I'm going to move it that way and when I'm like it, I'm going to hold it down and I'm just going to trace my circle because that's going to be the center of our sunflower. We're kind of doing a combination Vincent Van Gogh, Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe was an artist that loved to draw and paint things very up close macro images. So we're kind of mixing my two favorite artists together and a Van Gogh, George O'Keefe kind of thing. So we're doing half a sunflower because we're kind of doing working on our composition and composition is the way you lay out your piece of art. So by not putting it in the dead center, it's more visually interesting if we put it off to its side. All right. So I'm going to have pictures of sunflowers in class. I can attach a few on your project assignment too below. But you're also able, if you're allowed to go on the internet, look up sunflower pictures and look at how they really look and what their petal shapes look like. So these first petals up here, you're going to probably fall, make them a little shorter than normal, or you can have them kind of going off the page like it's expanding out into the space, which gives it that illusion of depth, which we like in art. So it's up to you. You can start, you can turn your paper like a sun and you can start making your petals in the middle and then go that way, or you can start at one end and come around. I'm probably gonna start in the middle. I want this petal to go almost to the end of my paper, okay? I want nice, large petals where people are zooming in, okay? So I'm actually gonna put a little dot where I want my petal to be. Now, I like to make my petals kind of in a curve this way and a curve this way. Sunflowers have those long, tapered petals. You can have a little point on it if you want. I'm just gonna kind of go for it. There's really no right or wrong. Some petals are, might be thicker than others, and that's okay. Mine might be a little thin, but I want lots of petals on mine. If you decide you want thicker petals, you can, you goofed, you can turn the paper over. So maybe, and we're gonna be coloring this too, so maybe you're like, oh, I messed it up. I wanted to make it more fat petal. 
on both sides with a curve kind of like this. That's okay. You can leave it just like this. We're going to be covering that with chalk pastel. If it bothers you, you can erase it. Or you can use the back side. You can practice on a paper. In class, I think we're probably going to practice our petals first before we get to this part, but it's up to you. So then you're going to turn your paper, and I'm going to have another petal. If you want your petals to overlap, so maybe I'm going to have my tip here, and I want to come out, but I want it to look like it's going behind that, I won't come down. I'll come over here and bring my petal out this way. So now it looks like these petals are going behind each other. I'm going to come over here. So this petal's going to be like off my paper. So I'm going to bring my line down here like it's going behind my petal, and I'm going to bring another petal down this way, and that I can just color. So it's up to you. Now my petals might be getting a little big, and that's okay. Maybe I want to make them shorter. Again, you can erase what you can or try it again. There's lots of different ways to do this. What I want you to do is get petals that you're happy with. What I expect, there's no rule of how many petals you have to have, but I have a rule. Your petals have to go from one end all the way around to the other end, I want you to get your petals as close to the end of the paper as you can. So I'm not going to sit here and have you watch me kind of fiddle with this stuff. So go ahead, outline your circle, and we're going to draw our petals. And I bet that's as far as we're going to get in class today. Because I'm going to have your class practice drawing petals first by looking at sunflower pictures. So that might be a good idea for you. So once you're comfortable with drawing petals, get your materials, and I would like to see your sunflower on your black paper. If you drew it in regular pencil, which if I did this one in pencil, you might not be able to see it on my camera very well, but I can see it. So go ahead and take a picture of it in lighting that I can see your pencil. It's up to you. It might be good to draw on something you can erase because we like to be able to fix things. So don't be afraid to turn your paper around. Don't be afraid to erase these little extras. We're going to be covering this whole paper with chalk, so don't worry about it. All right? If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to keep working on mine, and I'll show you my example uh, attached to this assignment. I will talk to you later. Goodbye, my third graders.